So in the last few moments, we're going to look harder into the scriptures to find out who we are. We're children of God. Go to 1 John chapter 3. 1 John chapter 3, verse 1. 1 John chapter 3, verse 1. These are, the, what we're going to do is look at some scriptures, which is basically God's photography. He's taking snapshots of us. You want to know who you are? A flash of light. I'm hoping now, verse 2 and 1 and 2 will flash, will illuminate you. And you'll say, oh, I see me. I see it now. And I'm hoping that this will flash and will illuminate and, and give you revelation. And here's the first picture. Verse 1. How great is the love the Father has lavished on us that we should be called children of God. Notice called? That's your new name. Children of God. That's the call. But wait a minute. It's as if John is writing and he thinks, no, 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 we're more than called. Notice the next verse, the next part of the verse. And that is what we are. See, see, he's writing. He says, we're called children of God. And then he says, no, 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 more than that. We're actually children of God. We're not just children of God by name. We are literally children of God. Do you not understand that's your identity? That you are literally a child of God. Think about what it would mean if you were born from wealthy parents. Maybe born from geniuses. All of a sudden, you're smart. Because you got your smart genes from your parents. But I got news for you. You got the genes from God Almighty. And he gave you birth. And you are sons, daughters of the living God. That's what you are. Is that illuminating you? Are you seeing it? Now watch this. And the reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Now stop for a moment. The world is trying to tell you who you are. Well, you're just a human. You're just an evolved ape. You're, you're, you're nothing special. You're just this or that you're just and they're trying to tell you who you are and here's the world trying to spread to us our image John says the world doesn't know us so if the world doesn't know us why are you trying to let the world tell you who you are and you know why they don't know us because they don't know the father who gave us birth and if they don't know God, how will they ever know who we are? And that's what he's saying here. They don't know who we are. They got it all wrong. Verse 2, dear friends, now we are children of God. And what we will be has not yet been made known. That's why the world's deceived. Because they don't see us yet the way we really will become. But we know that when he appears, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. I want you to notice the last phrase. We shall be like him because for we shall see him as he is. You know what he's saying? The more you see who Christ is, the more you see who you are. Goes back to the Lion King. You've forgotten who you are because you have forgotten me. And at once, Simba's offended. I haven't forgotten you, Father. And many of us are just like that. Oh, no, no, I know God. I just don't know myself. No, friend, if you don't know God, you don't know yourself. And if you don't know yourself, it's proof you don't know him. And what you need to do is look at Jesus and say, you know what? I know who he is. Oh, he's wonderful. He's powerful. He's the wisdom of God. He's the light of the world. And the more you recognize him, you know what you're doing? You're looking at the reflection. And instead of seeing you, 
you see him. But when you see him, you do see you. Pastor, that's blasphemous. Are you saying I'm Jesus? No, but I'm going to show you what you are. Look at chapter 4 of this same book. Chapter 4, verse 17. In this way, love is made complete among us so that we will have confidence on the day of judgment. Watch this. Because in this world, we are like him. Or as the New King James puts it, because as he is, so are we in this world. So if I see him, I see me. No, pastor, that's blasphemous because I could never be like Jesus. That's the problem. The world told you you can never be like him and you bought into the lie. People have told you you'll never be like Jesus and you believed it. And you need to stop that and say, no, if I am God's child, then I can be like my father. I can be like his son. As he is, so am I in this world. Jesus asked Peter, his name Simon at the time, who do you say I am? Peter made that great declaration and said, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. Right? He's saying this to Jesus. But what is a mirror when you look in the mirror? If you point your finger at the mirror, what does the mirror do? It points back at you. So if I point at the mirror and point my finger at the mirror, that mirror is pointing back at me. Now watch this. Peter says to Jesus, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. And what does Jesus do? And you are Peter, the rock. Wait a minute. Do you see Peter say, you're the Christ, you're the rock. Whatever you see in Christ, you see in you. And that's when Jesus said, and upon this rock I'll build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. You know when the gates of hell do not prevail? Not when you know who Christ is. It's when you hear him saying who you are. And when you know who you are, the gates of hell cannot prevail against you. Do you see this? Romans chapter 8. Are you ready for another snapshot? Another illumination? Here it is. Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. You know what God says? There's no condemnation. When? Well, when I finally die. No, 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 no. There's now no condemnation. That means you have no more judgment against you. God doesn't look at you and sees your sins. He doesn't see them anymore. Because if you're in Christ, your sins are forgiven. They are in the past. He doesn't condemn you anymore.